Hey, Mr. Parker here to review one from Brain Damage Films, and this is a uh, Blood Rush. Really not a fan of that cover, and you know, I think the cover is kind of misleading. I really think it makes it look like some sort of haunting ghost story, to me at least. That's nothing what this movie is. Essentially, we have kind of a zombie outbreak deal, and uh, it's a group of five friends during a party, and uh, things just start going crazy. This whole small town falls apart. Uh, it's kind of strange. There's uh, tons of characters in this movie, and the one thing I think they do really well is, uh, although I hated all the characters, I thought they were all jerks or bad people or just dislikable or stupid, uh, they do establish a lot of characters in the short amount of time this movie runs, and uh, they do become actual different characters. Uh, like I said, I didn't care for any of them. Uh, I don't know. Some of the acting on their parts is a little shaky. Some's decent. Uh, but essentially, we have this uh, bunch of different characters going around with all these motives, trying to survive this outbreak. Uh, a lot of times, they'll just be wandering in the woods, and they'll come across an infected person and split up or let one person get tackled and not do anything about it. Kind of just really uh, idiotic things with no rhyme, no reason what their, uh, you know, their mentality doesn't make any sense at points. We need to move faster. I'm trying. This baby's killing me. The pain's getting worse. Keep breathing. I'm sure if we keep heading that way, we'll make it back to town. Back there? I don't want to go back to those freaks. Yeah, I don't think we're any safer out here. It, it's Kate. Kate, we're over here. Kate, where have you been? Kate, come on. I don't want to have this baby here. What is she doing? She looks really sprightly for somebody who never wakes up before 10. How would you know that? Danny, she doesn't look right. Oh my god, she's one of them! Run! Oh. Run! Come on! Danny, wait! <laughs> you kids need to get out of these woods before you get yourself dead. You need to cross all 20. That something don't eat up that pretty face. Thank you. I've never seen nothing this darn crazy since them aliens came and took me in the ship and did that reptile probe thing up my. Lucy, <laughs> run! <laughs> Uh, it's kind of strange uh, film. Uh, there is some dark human here as well. Uh, and there's a witch doctor whole subplot where they believe this witch doctor is doing it. It kind of hints at the witch doctor may be doing it. But then uh, all their cell phones, the whole grid's down. So you're kind of thinking, really, could it be a witch doctor to shut down the grid? That just doesn't make sense. And the fact that there's a virus and the grid getting shut down is such a huge coincidence that you got to really, to me at least, rule out mostly the witch doctor, even if uh, you really are supposed to believe it is. Uh, I just wasn't really feeling the witch doctor element on there. Uh, really dislikable character as well. Uh, uh, the Doctor, I think, is probably the most interesting character in the film. Uh, there is moments of crappy CGI, but most of the effects are practical, cheap, gory uh, guts and things like that. And the ending is kind of uh, cool, even though I don't really necessarily buy the person doing it. I do kind of like the idea, this for that, you know, it's this ultimate sacrifice in a way. Uh, her subconscious wouldn't let her just let it go. Uh, it, like I said, it, it kind of has this uh, video at the end of the Friends, and you see uh, uh, that takes place beforehand, uh, how there were relationships and things like that, and little hints at things that were happening throughout the movie. All in all, it's not horrible. It's not amazing. It is a, a, your outbreak film. It does feel like uh, points were shot at different times, and then the dialogue or the you know, responses were shot at different times as well. Like I said, tons and tons and tons of characters in here. There's a couple really uh, cool moments I thought I enjoyed. A woman, you know, seeing her son eat a dog, or the, the piano scene, stuff like that. But all in all, I just felt that it kind of just was the same old thing again. Run, 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 stop, zombie in the woods, run, 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 stop, zombie in the woods, another character, here it is, here's somebody being an asshole or a snarky comment in a horrible situation. Uh, I don't think it's, like I said, I just watch some of the clips. I think some people will like it regardless, you know. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It's somewhere in the middle for me. Uh, somewhere in the middle. Uh, that is a Blood Rush. Uh, like I said, there's some cool moments, uh, but uh, there's some uh, dull moments, I think, as well. But uh, uh, Mr. Parker, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. 
Josh, honey. Josh, are you ready for bed yet? Josh? Josh, are you okay? Josh, can you hear me calling? Are you okay? <laughs>